everybody i hope you're all doing well welcome back today we are going to learn about dns server and dns client configuration but before we proceed to configure this let us understand what is dns dns stands for domain name system and this is a fundamental part of the backbone of the internet and without dns it is impossible to use the web browser to connect to the internet and you can think of the dns server just like your phone book so when you are asking your computer to load a website the dns server will match the website's name to the right ip address so this will let your computer to find and load the website properly and how does dns works so when you are entering a url what we are actually telling the computer is to find and connect to another ip address and to do this it uses a set of related servers and all those server together forms a dns server and there are four dns server so first is a dns recursive server the root name server top level domain server and authoritative name server okay so root server tld server authoritative server all these are called as name servers okay and how does it work so dns process is a step by step process so first when you are asking your computer to load a website say for example we want to connect to www.google.com okay since the computer do not understand english and your browser can't read these words that is you are typing www.google.com the browser does not understand and it will understand just ip address but for now it is not having ip address and due to this it will send a request to dns recursive resolver because it needs ip address so the function of this dns recursive resolver and its goal is to find the ip address to reach www.google.com so the resolver's first step is to find the website's tld okay that is first it will understand where this .com is stored and we know within tld server under root server you can have tld server for dot com dot net dot i in and many more okay so how does this dns going to identify which is the tld so it will reach the root server first to know who is the tld to reach dot com okay and what is root server so root server keeps list of every website in each of its tld once the resolver knows who is the tld so when root server will redirect okay the root server uh, sorry the path to reach tld for dot com is right here the the dns resolver will go to the corresponding tld name server and what does it ask 
it will ask, hey, are you the one who has got this IP address for reaching google.com? Do you know what's the IP address to reach google.com? And now, we still don't know what's the IP address, okay? But then the TLD name server finds the IP address and it will hand it off to the authority server. So it will say, okay, the IP address I see for reaching google.com is 8.8.8.8. .8 I see that it, it will just give its probability, but it's needs to be verified, right? So it will say, okay, this is what it is. And I see that. And then it will hand it off to authoritative, authoritative name server to figure out if the address is correct or not. The authoritative name server sends a message to the address and waits for the response. A message is sent to ensure if this 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 is correct or not. And then once it gets the right response, saying that, okay, 8.8.8 .8 .8 is the correct IP address to reach www.google.com. That means that IP address is correct. So the next step is, if the IP address is correct, the authoritative name server will, sorry with this, So once the IP address is correct, the authoritative name server will send it to the web browser. So it will say 8.8.8.8 .8 is verified to be correct and you have got the right response and that's sent to the browser. So once the browser will receive this IP address, we will be able to see the home page of Google. You can see that 8.8.8 .8 .8 has been received on the browser and you see the home page. Okay, so all this happens in matter of seconds. So if your internet is very fast, or if you have visited the website recently, it will happen very quickly in just milliseconds. But if you're visiting a new website and your browser will have to go through the entire process that is shown in this diagram. But if it did this for every single website, then it's a time consuming process. And hence, whenever we visit any websites recently, that will be stored in your web browser's cache. So when you try to load a website, the DNS server will first check your cache to see if the IP address is already saved there. And if it is, it will retrieve those IP address directly from the cache in order to save the time. Okay, so with this said, let's get started with the configuration of DNS client and DNS server. This is a very simple topology. We have taken a DNS client and a DNS server connected to each other with the help of a switch. And for the DNS client, let's assign the IP address 10.1.1.1. For the DNS server, we will assign 10.1.1.2. And then we will be able to test the connectivity from the DNS client. We will reach the 
URL using a web browser on the DNS client to reach the destination server and see if that works. So let's get started with the configuration of DNS uh, server first. So I'll go to DNS server. Let's assign IP address 10.1.1.2 and submit mask is taken by default. No need to enter default gateway. We will add um, for the DNS server 10.1.1.2 and just exit out of this. And let's go to um, PC2. That's our DNS client. IP configuration, and we need to assign IP address 10.1.1.1, and default subnet mask is taken by itself. And for the DNS server, we already configured 10.1.1.1 on our DNS server on the other side. Sorry, it's 10.2 on the other side. So, okay, so that's configured. And now let's ping the destination DNS server and see if that works from DNS client. So we will ping 10.1.1.2. That's working. So we are getting reply and you can ping the destination. Uh, uh, that is DNS server. So uh, we will also check if that is working on the web browser. Let's connect on a web browser and ping the DNS server IP address 10.1.1.2. And that's working. But it's not possible for us to remember these IP address all the times, right? So say for example, I want to convert this IP address to www. Dot, um, learning dot com okay but it doesn't work okay let me just exit out and see I want to customize this IP address www dot learning dot com that's not working so we need to enable the DNS services. So let's go ahead and enable the DNS services. Go to DNS server, click on services, DNS. We need to add the IP address, right? So we need to even create a record. So here we will say IP address 10.1.1.2. Okay, and let's give a name, www.learning.com. Okay, click on add, that works. Now let's verify. Let's make sure the DNS services is turned on and click on save. Okay, it's already saved. Okay, now let's go to the DNS client. www.learning.com That worked. So we are able to resolve the name to IP address. And from IP address, we were able to create the FQTN and we are able to reach the DNS server. So this is all about configuration of DNS client and DNS server. I hope that this information has been informative to you all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.